my beautiful wildflowers. How are you today? Alexis here with Oat Modesty. Today I am doing this natural look. Well, at least I think it looks natural. And so I'll be using two brands. One is by Terry and the other is Tom Ford. And so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. But today what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a simple look and I'm going to try to make it as natural as possible but yet still showing some color. And so today what I want to do is I want to work with the Tom Ford um, palette. It's called Insulin Rose and I've not used it yet and so I'm really looking forward to it. I've used colors like this, this shades. Um, this is definitely my palette. That's me in a palette and it's got, you know, the rosy, mauvey kind of colors to it. Very soft. And so I think it will lend itself to a very nice natural look. And along with that, I want to go ahead and use the um, By Terry Hyaluronic Acid. Um, this is a uh, foundation. It's a natural foundation. And, and any foundation with skincare in it, if you see that foundation is a little bit pricey, take a look at the ingredients because it's, it's probably got you know, skincare in it. This is the reason why it's pricey. And so this is one here. And um, I want to go ahead and give this a try. I've not yet tried this yet either and I just gotten this not that long ago and I'll give you my feedback on it and as far as the uh, by Terry Hyaluronic Acid Concealer um, I have not used this particular one but I have used it this is brand new and I've used it the reason why I got this because you know I did I don't typically buy concealers but I use the blister pack ones um, and the um, the samples that I received from them and I, oh my god it was so nice it really you know got rid of my lines and there was no texture for the first time and so I want to see how this works out today you know having said that I don't know sometimes I think those samples are like you know extremely well made but no that's just me conspiracy theorist here and also along with that I'm going to go ahead and use the sample that I um I received from by Terry and I've been loving this. This also has hyaluronic acid in it, skincare. All of their products have um, skincare in there. So I'm going to try to use all of um, by Terry except for the eyeshadow because I've already used the eyeshadow. Okay. So, and as you know, before we get started, we have to do our mindfulness cards. Okay. And self-care. It's self-care every day, not just Saturday. So, okay. Let me just pick a quick card here. Let me dig in. And you know, I use this deck here um, from, um, I picked this up actually from Amazon from a, a mom and pop shop. Actually it's mom and two sons shop. So, okay, here's a card and let's see what it says. I fully and unequivocally believe in myself. Ooh, that's a very strong statement. I fully and unequivocally believe in myself. That is such a beautiful mantra and beautiful affirmation to say throughout the day. In other words, no matter what, I still believe in myself. I may trip up, I might fall down, but I pick myself right back up again and I believe in myself. This is what the card says to me. And on the back of it, of course, it has the question, the prompt, and it says, where will that sense of power take me today? What can I do to project this into a daily attitude? Ah, oh, see? It's very powerful. Even the statement um, for me is like, wow, okay, boom. Yeah, you know, doesn't matter what happens to me today. I may fall flat on my face, but you know what? Doesn't matter. I'm strong, I'm resilient, and I'm a beautiful wildflower. That's why you guys need to walk around saying, I'm a beautiful wildflower, okay? And so that's that for the day. And so keep that in mind, guys. Don't forget about these things after you turn off the video or, you know, uh, you start doing something else because I want you to use it. I mean, you believe in yourself, okay? You're beautiful, you're smart. Granted, you're humans, you're gonna fall flat on your face or flat on your butt. You picture, you know, pick yourself back up, okay? So that's that's a little um, suggestion and don't sweat the small stuff. Oh, I'm a little early on that, right? Okay, and then, so also I want to spotlight of the wildflowers and I do have one person here. And this is actually from a couple of weeks ago. It's not that long ago. It's a couple of weeks ago. But, um, you know, because it seems like 
this would be like back in the winter. It's not. Okay, so it's um, by Glenna Stewart, and she's also very pleasant. She's always has something really nice to say. She gets on there and then really, you know, pitches her little energy, and I really love that about her. And uh, it's not just about this comment today. It's just about her, and she's just, you know, really bubbly and always positive, and I really appreciate it. So what did Glenna say? She said, it's a beautiful morning here, 71 degrees today. Tomorrow, thunderstorms and snow is in the forecast. And But still, I mean, she's not worried about tomorrow. She's saying it's a beautiful morning here. And today is beautiful. And so, yeah, live your day, day by day, okay? And, and remember this, if you are depressed, you're living in the past, if you are anxious, you are living in a future. And if you are living in bliss, you are living in today. Okay, just remember that. So, okay, enough of that. This is not a philosophy class, so let's get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start with letting you know I have already prepped my eyes using the Soft Osher, which is this um, paint pot by MAC. And a lot of people use painterly, which is a little bit pinker, but this is more my shade because I do have a little golden olive underneath, um, even though I am neutral. And then I did set that with my Urban Decay. This is called ABC Bubblegum, just to, you know, set it in powder, okay? And then now, and then I also had to open a brand new Brow Wiz. I'm glad I had a backup because I ran out today. And this is in Medium Ash, okay? And this is, I think, all I did so far. Yep, that's it. And so let's get going with this. So, like I said, this is Tom Ford's Ensolin Rose. Let me pull all this stuff out because they do come with these little, little brushes I can't even use. So here it is. And as you notice, these do not have a TF on the palette. Okay, and you know what? I'm going to go get it and show you just in case. That means these cannot go wet. You have to use this dry. Okay, so hold on. Okay, guys, you notice the difference here? Do you see the TF? It's upside down because I don't want to blind you guys. But here, let me just flip it like this. Okay, you see the TF there? These could be wet, use wet or dry. Okay, versus this here, which does not have T or the F. Okay, must be used dry. And for the shimmers, you could probably, you know, you could argue that probably, especially makeup artists out there probably would be like, yeah, that's no, you could still use the shimmers wet. But uh, this, this is actually how Tom Ford actually um, pitches it, okay? And another thing too, I found out lately that, you know, I've been using uh, one of his uh, sample eye um, creams and I'm really liking it. And I noticed on the bottles, they say Tom Ford Research. And I think I mentioned that to you guys before that, you know, he, he does, I mean, a lot of it is... Um, deeply research and he spends millions in research which is probably why a lot of that stuff is so expensive no that's it is why so number 15 I don't know why I showed you that <laughs> refer fluffy brush I'm running my mouth and I'm like okay I don't usually show you the number because it doesn't matter fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this color here there is no name but here I'm going to use this one here on the bottom left oh let's see focus 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 okay let me see is that better Okay, this one here for transition shade. And so let's see. And the and uh, his colors do kick up a little bit, and uh, I'm not gonna lie. And but uh, they don't usually fall out. So let's see. I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the crease right away. Like I said, I'm not gonna make this kind of like a crazy look. I'm just gonna try to uh, kick up a natural look today. Um, you know, nothing, um, nothing crazy. Something that you could actually, you know, go to a PTA meeting with. Well, I don't know where that came from. I've never been to a PTA meeting. So, yeah. Okay. Let's just blend this out. Okay, next I will go ahead and my outer V with this outside darker color here. These are mattes, okay? And um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the outer V using the small, actually the small fluffy brush, okay? And um, these are pretty pigmented. So, you know, you don't need to really go in there too deep. And, um, yeah, just kind of build up to it because sometimes Tom Ford's colors could be really, especially when it's dark, it could be shocking. And you're like, oh my God, especially if you go directly like I do from, um, you know, from pan to eyelid. So and again, um, my, my, you know, attempt here today is to give it a natural look, nothing crazy. So I'm just going to go ahead and pat this down. Okay. 
going to blend this out. You know, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this a little bit in a crease. Okay. Not, you know, don't go above the crease, but just a little bit in a crease. And again, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to be heavy handed because I don't want to end up, you know, not being natural. So, yep. And now I'm going to take this packing brush here, okay, and I'm going to dip that into this pinky shimmer, okay? Can't think of the word. I almost said sparkly, but yeah. And let's see how that comes on here. And I might need to go to my, uh, my finger depending on how this works out, but let's see. Let's see how this works. But like, again, I'm just looking for a natural sheer look. I don't want, you know, I don't want anything crazy, so... Let's see, let's try the fingers, if the fingers work. I don't want to end up capping it. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So let me just go ahead and continue to, um... oh yeah, here we go. Just need to build it up a little bit, so. Oh, it is definitely a little bit sheer. And so this is nice. I like that. I it just it makes a very, um, this reminds me a little bit um, of the Charlotte Tilbury. The, uh, she had the Hollywood, um, I forgot what that one was called. The Hollywood filter, I think it was called or something like that. And it was, um, it just reminds me of that. Okay. And next, next I'm going to go ahead and go in with this uh, concealer brush type. And I like to use these type of brushes actually for underneath my um, brow bones because it's so precise. And um, yeah, so I like these versus any other, you know, fatter ones. Um, yeah, so there we go. Because I want to go ahead and create a very light space here. Okay. You know, I just realized how sparkly this this uh, shimmer is. Do you, do you see it? I mean, is it capturing that? It's like crazy sparkly. Okay. Let me just go ahead and do this. Okay, that's kind of natural. Not a whole lot of color. That's the idea. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara. And then the thing is, I do not want to um, put on eyeliner because I want this to look as natural as possible. And so I'm going to go ahead and um, comb my eyelashes to separate them. You have to be careful with these because these are like, like needles. They're very sharp. Um, yeah, <laughs> I would recommend that you pay very close attention when you're using this. Okay, essentially these are little needles actually that are attached to this. I don't know if you guys ever used it, but take a look at it. I mean, they, they will stab you, <laughs> it's dangerous. So yeah, just be careful if you use them. Okay, and now I will go ahead and curl my eyelashes because I have to. Okay, and next, I cannot wait to curl my, you know, do both and then um, put on the mascara because if I do, um, yeah, my curls will leave me because I have very little curls to begin with. So, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put on mascara. I hope I'm capturing this on camera because I don't typically do this part on camera, but being that I'm trying to give you the natural look. So I want you to see all that I'm doing and I really haven't edited. Um, well, I haven't edited, of course not. I'm still making a video, but I mean, I'm not planning on editing a lot of it out other than extra time, but not any, I didn't do any special blending or anything like that. This actually was pretty, you know, throw it on my face type of um, deal here because it is a natural look. And I really can't even see if I have like eyelashes pinched here, you know, I'm just hoping so. Okay, we'll see. I think I'm gonna have to open my other bottle of this. because I think it's getting close to six months now. And even though I'm not completely out of it, I have a strict rule for my mascara. Hit six months, it's going in the garbage. Well, it's going in the recycles because this is Mac. I, I could recycle these. Because if you get six containers of anything out of Mac, 
um, you actually get a free lipstick of your choice or a single eyeshadow. Yep. It's okay. That looks okay. I'm making sure that I didn't mess this up because I can't see, I can't truly see in this mirror. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Next we will move on to the foundation. Can't think of the word. Oh my God. Can you believe that? And I think these come in like little droppers, um, eyedropper type of thing. Yeah. I think so. Cause it's like, yeah, it's supposed to be like skincare, right? So, yep. Yep. Okay. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try it. This is the first time I use this. Okay. So don't laugh at me. It's okay. You can laugh at me if I screw it up. Oh, I almost made that a mess. Try not to touch the, you know, the skin. Okay, this has got a little bit of a uh, fragrance. Not too bad. Where the heck is my... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so let me just go ahead and get this mirror again so I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, this shade is a little bit light for me. I can see that. Um, yeah, it's okay though. It's going on kind of creamy, but um, more like a cream than a foundation. So, you know what? Let me just come off camera real quick because I got to get really close and I'm not going to be able to be here. I got to use my uh, mirror here. So let me just go ahead and straighten out this foundation. I'm not going to do anything else, okay? Okay, guys, um, I'm able to tap this in, uh, but it's coming across really white on the camera, on the viewfinder. I don't know how it's going to edit, but um, it looks really, really white. It's not that white, actually. And it's like, what the heck? Why do I look like a ghost? That's okay. I'll warm it up, though. Um, yeah, I'll warm it up a little bit. And I ended up tapping this in only because... I'm peeling. Um, I did a peel the other day, and so I am peeling a little bit, and when I started manipulating with the brush, yeah, it started to come up. So I said, you know what? I just need to tap it in. So that's what I'm doing. And next, what I want to do is use this um, concealer. Even though I do still have a sample, I want to use this anyway. So I believe you click this. Yeah, there's a little clicker down here. You see? And just want to make sure I'm seeing what I'm doing here. Ah, you see how that came up? Okay, and then so I will now, I hope I didn't squeeze out too much because I really don't need that much. Nope, okay, this is okay. Okay, and like I said, this is a really a beautiful concealer, um, meaning, you know, it's, it's just creamy and just, it doesn't um, uh, settle into the pores, at least from what I can see when I use the, um, the actual, um, what do you call it, the sample. Cat, I don't have words here when I'm trying to do this at the same time. I have a hard time talking. It's weird because I can drive and do a million things at the same time, but, you know, not when I'm videoing. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap this like this. I tap this in. Oh, all I needed was tiny bit. So you see, I mean, I like how this actually doesn't sit all into the lines. And I'll just tap. I don't like to get too, too close under the eyes because that's where the lines are. And so I don't want to, you know, test fate here. Okay. You know, I'll be honest with you. I thought this was going to be too dark when I got it. And they only had this shade. It's in 300. And I mean, usually I'm in the 200s and they didn't have any more 200s. I'm glad they didn't because this is like perfect. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't have wanted to be much lighter than this. And I'm really surprised how light this is. And um, this right here is, I guess, 102. I guess that is kind of light, huh? So anyway, yep, I could definitely go a little bit um, deeper. And by the way, this is SPF 30. And so, and it does have, like I said, hyaluronic acid. And along with that, so does the um, these powder here, uh, which I showed you. And I'm just going to use a little bit to kind of um, work this um, a little bit around the eyes here. I know you okay, here we go again. Now I had to restart the video. I hope I didn't uh, cut this off at the wrong time. But anyhow, so being that I'm going for the natural look, I'm not going to put any kind of eyeliner underneath, okay? And then I powdered that a little bit. And this is actually a satin finish, so it's, it's really nice. 
beautiful. And so next, what I want to do is I will go ahead with the By Terry. Um, this is number one and let's see, Sunny Flush. Okay. Somebody asked me that the other day. I didn't realize it was more than one because I, I don't know. I ordered this one specifically. So I thought it was only one. So yeah. And so and I'm going to go in with my 05 brush. Um, yep. And I'm going to go in to this bronzy one because I want to actually put a little bit of color. I'm hoping this is not um, too, yeah. Oh, that's right. It, it does have a lot of pigment. I forgot about that. Just going to go ahead and add some color to my face. And so that way I'm not so pale. I'm just wanting to add a little bit of shade. I'm not by any chance contouring or anything like that. Remember, I'm going after the, the natural look today. Okay, and then I will go in with my... Uh, this is the 24. And to the... Oh, no, I don't want the 24. I want the 04. A tiny one, 04. And I'm going to go with this little flush of pink. Um, again, I want something natural. And let's see, I really like this palette. I mean, yeah. And it smells like roses. Um, yeah, but not not too bad. It's not any worse than like we get on a, uh, what do you call that, that Too Faced when they smell like chocolates and pumpkin and caramel and yeah. I'm fasting right now, guys, so I'm, I'm like, I'm hungry, so I don't want anything smelling like chocolate, okay? No chocolate. This is okay. This rose. Huh? My beautiful wildflowers. Okay, so anyway. Again, I want just a natural flush. I'm going to go across the nose like I just came out of the sun. I don't want anything like ah, beaming. Okay, that's that. And I will go in with this little... This is actually a Charlotte Tilbury brush. <laughs> Came with uh, one of her highlighters. and But I want to use this like a natural color highlighter. And I'm going to give myself a little bit of highlight. In case the sun decides to touch me today. Okay. Okay, here we go. And then... Yeah, let me just do this a little bit and a little bit right here on a cupid's bow. Okay. And now, let's see for the lips. Okay, and we will go with, let's see, I cannot see. Oh my gosh, you should see my table right now. It's like, oh, there's so much stuff on my table. But anyway, what is this? Uh, this is... I have it upside down. Is this the Ilona? Yeah, Ilona. Ilona. I don't know why I always pick this one. I look and I, I like the color and I pick it. Let's see if I have lid here. Yep. So this is Ilona. And I will be using the lipstick called I Need a Nude. Uh, Liron. 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 Okay. Which is a very, very nudie. And usually not a color that I would use, but I'm going to give it a try because I want to see, because I'm trying to get that naturalist natural look and to not made up look. Okay. So let me just go ahead and get this. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Did I even draw my lips? Okay. Not bad. I don't think. Well, let me take a closer look. Okay, guys. I don't know about you, but my lips are not even, okay? My right side is like a little bit smaller. I mean, visibly smaller. And my left side reaches a little bit more of a peak, which is so annoying because I, it's so hard for me to get it even. Yeah, so I try. Okay, so here we go. 
Uh, did you see that? <laughs> it's not too bad. Okie dokie, I'm finished, so let me get dressed and I'll be right back. Ta-da! So what do you think? I brought you in really close so that way you can see the look. And my whole goal was to have something looking natural and something that is not, um, it doesn't look too made up. Of course, you can tell that I have makeup on, but how much, how made up am I? So from... The usual, I think this is a little bit um, less, you know, I mean, look at the eyes. I mean, they, you could definitely see that there's eyeshadow there. I think I wouldn't have put the shimmer if I was just trying to um, be even more, you know, knock it down a little bit more. Um, but I do love how the shimmer plays. And so I really like this look. I'm comfortable in this look. And I feel like I could be the best in this look because I love the mauve colors. And I like makeup that are subtle and you know even though I play with makeup and I have fun with you guys but you know I'm it's out of my comfort zone to be in blues and greens and you know bright oranges right but definitely something that I need to like work towards because it is fun okay and so my beautiful wildflowers what do you think I mean the makeup actually feels very very nice on my face um the lipstick feels uh, moisturizing uh the face the makeup on my face it doesn't feel like I have a whole lot on it's almost like I have sunscreen that's what it feels like but um it doesn't feel like I have on thick um foundation and I love that and so yeah and it's it's pretty good and I'm gonna see how long it lasts and by the way um by this time you should have seen my naked um ultraviolet one and i did say i'll get back to you guys and i did make a note to myself but that eyeshadow didn't last three four hours and so you know those, those are one of the things i always like to go back and say yeah it didn't last or yes it lasted wow it lasted and so i'm gonna see how long this lasts and so i'm gonna see it is now uh let's see what time is it okay it is now noon and so we'll see Okay, my beautiful wildflowers, if I added any value, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And also, um, I do have a giveaway going on right now for, I actually have a couple of them. I have the, um, the masks, the sheet masks, and also I have the, I should still have the 550 and 600 subscriber and which would be off that 550 video will be two because i didn't i mean you guys i got 550 and 600 really quick and so instead of doing two different ones i'm doing one okay so look for that video and so my beautiful wildflowers i hope you have a good day i hope you have a good night i hope you have a good week or a weekend whenever you're watching this it doesn't matter just remember don't sweat the small stuff I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.